Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we're doing a special unboxing of this Super 73Z Miami in Sriracha Red. Yes, we're super excited to unbox the Super 73 and we wanna thank Super 73 for loaning us the Z Miami for a few weeks to test. And we're super excited to be testing out other electrified vehicles besides cars. Yeah. So, you ready to unbox this? Let's do it. <laughs> we have the Super 73Z Miami unpacked and first impressions is I actually can't believe how small it is. <laughs> <laughs> I rode one at Fully Charge Live in San Diego so I knew what size to anticipate but I don't think Brandon did. <laughs> no, this is the first time I'm actually seeing a Super 73 in person. Now just bear in mind that they do make different bikes in different sizes. This one is going to be perfect for a Tyler size. For me, I definitely need a bigger bike. But overall, I'm actually really impressed with it. The, the quality feels really nice. It has a really nice weight to it as mm -hmm. we're bringing it out of the box. And overall, I just really love how quirky it is already. So we're gonna get set up and uh, we'll check in with you guys shortly. So just wanna check in really fast because we just opened the box that is labeled Charger and Tools. And to our surprise, literally there is an Allen wrench and a regular wrench or a torque wrench, I believe that's what it's called. Very and then much. regular wrench <laughs> <laughs> and then the charger. So it's going to be really that simple. All we have to do is put on the pedals and then put and on handlebars. the handlebars. And that's it. That's it. So we have the Super 73Z Miami set up. Uh, it was really easy to set up. However, we did run into some, uh, I think these were more of a personal experience uh, difficulty, uh, just because like we're still relatively new to building bikes. And this is very simple, but we did run into an issue with putting on one of the pedals. But well, we got it on. Yes, which is, all good. which is good. But overall, it was super easy to put together. All we had to do was just put on the pedals, the handlebars, and 
overall, it probably took like 15 minutes. Probably. And yeah. If you had the experience, I'm sure it'd take a lot less. So yeah. But yeah. first impressions, the bike itself is super nice. Um, the seat is really squishy. So that's, this is going to be really nice for riding around on the street and then on the trails. Yep. It's going to be super nice for that. Yeah. It's very unique. That's what I really like about the bike. Like it's very like simple and very, I don't, I'm trying to think of how the, like the best word, almost like mechanic, which I really mechanical? like. Mechanical? Mechanical. Yeah. yeah I, I feel like that's going to be the best way to describe this. I like it. So you ready to do a quick test ride? Yeah. First, uh, since this Z Miami doesn't have lights, I'm going to put my lights on from my current bike, my Trek. So that way I can be seen at night and on and safely. Okay, so now we're gonna show the size difference between myself at 5'4 and Brandon at 6'1 on getting on the Z Miami. So it's really easy for my height to just simply bring my leg over and sit on the Z Miami. It's really comfortable. The one thing I really like about the seat is that it's wide, or it's long and it's wide at the same time. So it's it's pretty comfortable. But riding it might be a little bit of a different story since I have these long legs. But now let's see how Tyler fits on it. Okay. For me, this is really easy. We've had other e-bikes that are too tall, but this, to me, the Super 73 is always like the right height. Like this is like the perfect size for a rider who's short like myself. But a little bit bend in my knee, but that's perfectly fine. It's kind of like the style that Super 73 goes for. It's kind of like a... This one is kind of more like a cruiser, like a city cruiser, but it's really nice. Yeah. The seat's really nice and comfy too. I will say the one thing that I kind of wish that this had was an adjustable seat versus a, just being in a static position at all times. I feel like for some people who might even just be slightly shorter than me, but Tyler, or taller than Tyler, might find some you know comfort in it, but still I feel like I wish that there was a little bit of adjustability. Mm -hmm. But overall I, I really I really like how cool it is and I feel like it doesn't look like any other bike I've seen so far. No, so. super nice. Okay, so that is a wrap for our first impressions and initial test and setup for our Super 73 Z Miami. And first of all, it's a really great city bike, I think. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I definitely think uh, based on first impression, Super 73 did a great job with the Z Miami. It feels solid, and as Tyler said, it feels like a fantastic city bike, but we're definitely gonna do more testing, so definitely stay tuned to the Everyday EV YouTube channel for that because we are super excited to test this e-bike, especially here in the Cleveland area. Definitely, so we'll take you guys on lots of adventures, short form and long form videos, because it is now officially fall here in Ohio and it is optimal bike weather. Yes, it's gonna be perfect. So make sure you like and share this video with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to the Everyday EV YouTube channel and take care, stay safe, make every day electrified. And we'll see you guys in the next electric bike review.